Hey, I'm Patrick. I'm here with Kiss Rebreeders on the Dima 2024. And uh, we brought our final version of the Sidewinder 2 that we have been developing over the past years. Uh, now we're in the final stages uh, before release. And I want to show you a couple of the new features. So first of all, if we start at the front, what you will realize is we have the new DSV. A uh, bigger internal diameter, which means work of breathing is massively reduced, as well as the flow direction cannot be turned any longer. This is a CE requirement, so now the fittings can only be fitted on one of the specific sides. We also have our new MAV, the revolver MAV. So basically, uh, two independent buttons from each other for oxygen delivery and off-port diluent delivery, so it's uh, easy to distinguish between the two because they use distinct uh, fingers. And it also has a waterproof orifice, which means the chance for a clogged or blocked orifice is massively reduced. When you come on the other side, we have um, our, this is the back mount wing, what well, you can see right away also that we created unique flunges that are very distinct and different from Sidewinder 1. Uh, basically, we removed the anti collapsos from the center, meaning that reduced the work of breathing and also the flow of the flunge is different. And you have a screw in uh, version. So, for people that use the counter lung in their Sidewinder harness with holes, they can actually fit the lung into the um, Cordura shell fit the flange through and then lock the flange in its place with the nut on the outside. That's gonna uh, make it much easier to don and doff the canisters from the counter. This is the final version of our plastic injected molded canisters. They hold 3.5 kilos of absorbent material, which gave us a three uh, or more than four, like four hour, 20 minute duration in CE certification. Um, when you come over here, so this is the ADV side. We have a purge valve where water can push out from the rebreather. We have an adjustable ADV, which means we can adjust the uh, strength of the ADV if we can either softer or harder. And then we have the cell side, which I want to show you also. And as you can see, inside here we have the PCB, the circuit board. And you can see there's a silicon gasket around the connector, which basically makes the connection between the cell and the circuit board waterproof. We can stay here, and I can show you the canister. So the canister goes on with a bayonet system. Right, so you have a bayonet here and a bayonet here. So what we do is, you block the breathing channel, you fill it with soap, tap, 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 fill it with soap, tap, 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 tap. Then open the breathing channel, put the plug in place, and then it works with a the spiral here that it locks onto the back plate. I'm CEO and the chief engineer. And then you put the head on and you lock it with this adjustment ring. We have another valve on top here. Uh, so this is the flush valve. It basically can be manually opened. It's an upstream valve, meaning there's a one-way valve with a gasket in it and the spring is from inside to out. So this is basically manually opened. And we also redesigned the bayonet system. So now it has a spring effect, which means that once it's on, which is really, really fast, but if you come a bit closer, you can hear the click. And you could also see that it clicks in place. So it basically means it is really impossible to open it by accident, so to speak. The Sidewinder 2 can be basically dived in two different versions. Uh, obviously the famous version is in side mount, a side mount configuration, but you can take the same rebreather and put it on a single tank back mount tank. So when people dive from like small Zodiacs or other places where side mounting would be a problem, they don't have to change the rebreather, they can use the same rebreather just in a different configuration and dive there also. And this is about it. Uh, there is really a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, sophistication in a really small and tiny space.